Hi guys, welcome to another XC tutorial. In this video today, I'm going to go over how to set up your Facebook pixel for your website and retarget people that are interested in your product or services that you sell. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Nancy and I am a digital marketing specialist. On my channel, um, I post weekly videos on how to build a thriving business on Etsy. You will also learn how to market your shop by you utilizing best practices such as SEO, branding, and social media. So make sure to subscribe for new content and comment below to introduce yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is a Facebook pixel, right? So a Facebook pixel is a piece of code um, sometimes you get like an HTML code and then you can also have a pixel ID number, which kind of works the same way. And that ID number or code, you will place it on your website. Now, do keep in mind that in order to install a Facebook pixel, you have to have full control of the website. So, for instance, if you only have an XC shop, you wouldn't be able to apply the pixel because XC doesn't allow us to put pixels on their platform. However, if you have your own website, then this tutorial, you'll be able to follow and add the pixel to your actual website. And what does the pixel do? So the pixel is basically a cookie that will track visitors on your website. So anytime somebody goes to your website to see your Etsy products, right? The products, so on your website, you will showcase the same products that you saw on Etsy, but this is separate from Etsy. So you have all your own website. So people stop by, they look at the products, maybe they didn't buy, they leave. So what this code does, is going to track those visitors on your website. So you could reach out to them at a later time. And this is also called retargeting. So let's say this person went to your website, they didn't buy anything from you, or they bought, they leave your website, now they're browsing Facebook or now they're browsing Instagram or maybe they're somewhere else on Google. Um, the retargeting of that code is going to advertise your website to them. So it's going to track um, their behavior um, and it's going to try to take them back to your website. And the nice thing about it is that it also gives you a lot of information on who your target audience is. So you're going to be able to create a custom audience on the back end of Facebook when you do advertising, whether you do a Facebook ad um, for website or traffic clicks or whether you do a boosting, whichever type of, um, maybe you do a Facebook generation lead ad, just depending on what you want to do, dynamic ads. Once you start doing those ads, you'll be able to pull data that the pixel collect to target a custom audience that was already interested in your products or already show interest um, in what you're selling. So therefore, increasing the likelihood of showing your products to people that were interested already and most likely will go ahead and close out the sale. So it's a really, really nice um, feature to have. Um, I highly recommend it if you are um, do have a website to go ahead and create a Facebook pixel. Um, it's very simple to do. So all you have to do, um, the first thing you will need to do is set up your business manager. And your business manager is basically a way to create, to add your accounts and have all your Facebook ads and be able to manage um, your Facebook account from the back end. Once you have your business manager set up and you create an account and you add your existing account, um, I just did a test account to kind of show you what you would do is you would click on the account that you want to add the pixel. So every individual um, account that you have will have a different pixel. It wouldn't be the same pixel. So you would go to your account, the one that you're working on, and you will hover up here where it says Facebook. I'm sorry about that. You will hover. I apologize. You will hover on their add managers and then from here you're going to select all tools and you're going to go to pixel 
Now it's going to prompt you to create a pixel. This is a new account. I don't have one. So it's going to prompt me to create one. And these are all the things that you could do. It kind of gives you like a little bit of a, a better understanding of what it does. So it's going to track website activities. It's going to show you like a little uh, map of where people are clicking, how they found your website. Did they start, you know, did they go to a certain page? Did they click on the contact form? So it's kind of going to navigate you on um, where possibly or what pages are performing the best on your website, which is really nice. Um, and then obviously, like what we talked about with the t uh, remarketing is going to improve your return on advertising because now instead of just advertising to anybody and everybody, you could just advertise to people that show interest in your product. So therefore, your sales will increase. And you don't have to worry about spending so much and not making so much. And you can also reach um, existing customers as well if you have like a subscribers list or new customers. So all you will have to do is just create a pixel. Click on create a pixel. Now um, you could rename this if you want right here or um, you could just leave it. I'm just going to leave it how I have it for now. So let's go ahead and continue. And it's going to create the pixel for you automatically. It's very, very simple to do. You will have three options in order to install it. Um, you could manually install the code yourself. You could email it to a developer. So if you have someone that is creating the website for you, um, they're setting everything for you, you could just email it to them. They'll get the code and then they'll be in charge of it. Um, you could use an integration or tag manager um, if you want as well. This is more for e-commerce or to track um, conversion pages. You can also definitely use it because you are selling um, XE products as well. You, um, you have to make sure that your theme of your website is set up as an e-commerce platform in order to um, have better results with this one up here. So once you get the code, you click on it. And you want to go to the second one. This is the one I normally use right here. So all you want to do is um, you could just copy, like click on it, and it's going to copy to clipboard and automatically have a copy. Um, you could email instructions to yourself or to someone else if you need them to add it. Um, you could also grab the pixel code right here. So what I normally do is I grab this code right here. So I will grab this code. And this is the back end from my WordPress. So I have a, a, a plugin called Pixel Your Site. And then what I do is I, I put my pixel number here. And I just update it. And that's it. That's all I do. I just I put it there and automatically it puts it in my website in the right spot where it's supposed to be. And it tracks the pages for me. Um, I highly, highly recommend that if you are currently have your own website, or you started a website um, for your Etsy shop to have something separate from Etsy, I highly recommend using a pixel, especially if you plan to do Facebook ads in the future. Or you could also um, keep in mind that a pixel is not only for Facebook ads. Um, you could use it or for, a or for a blog or a website. You could also use it on lead pages and funnel pages. So even if you don't have a website, right? but you have a lead page where you send, let's say you, you you run a Facebook ad, you send that person to the lead page. There you have like a opt-in form, right? Like they, they sign up for, to receive a coupon for XE or they sign up to receive a book or they sign up to receive some type of freebie before proceeding to your XE shop. Um, you, could, you could actually track that actual page with a pixel and then you could remarket or retarget those people. So you don't necessarily need to have a website in order to implement a pixel. You could use it, um, like I said, on funnel pages, on lead pages, your blog, your website, your e-commerce platform. Um, so anything that is basically that you could track on. So I hope that this tutorial um, was helpful and that you learned something new. And, but just keep in mind also that, like I said in the beginning, this only applies for a separate website. It does not apply for XE.com only because they do not allow it. So you have to have your own website apart from XE in order to use this pixel 
and start uh, gathering information on your target audience and then also targeting those people again with um, additional ads. So I hope that this video was helpful. Um, if you have any comments or questions about it, make sure you leave um, a comment below and make sure you show me some love by liking this video. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.